everyone so um, thank you for watching the video uh, if you're looking for a review I will give you a review today my name is Angel Gonzalez I am with Halo Pitch Photography today what I will be reviewing will be the Boo 2-in-1 Trek Advisory light bar now um, I already got this light bar and I'm gonna open it with you if I could open it if I could, could open it there we go Simple setup. Now this is a, uh, I ordered the, I believe it is the white and orange light bar. So let's go ahead and check what's going on right here. We have, this is standalone system, comes with everything you need. Uh, this is the controller. And I already see a little bit of an issue. Um, it looks like the wires are sticking out. Literally just opened it and I could already see wires sticking out. I don't know if that's going to cause an issue, but already that's one thing as far as quality control. Uh, second thing, very thick insulated wire. Uh, well, just the insulation could be thick, but I don't know about the wire. Uh, standalone cigarette uh, 12 volt outlet for your car with the switch on, switch off. Let's go ahead and put that off to the side. Uh, uh, right here, you do have different selections. For the uh, light bar, they send you the hardware for the for the window mounts and uh, dash mounts. So it comes with section cups. Section cups, uh, L brackets to uh, mount on your on your dash or your back window um, plastic. And this is for the window. And I'll show you a video right now. And this is the hardware to connect the light bar to the actual hardware. Right here, this hardware is actually two individual ones. And I'll show you them right now. And let's take a look at the light bar. Quality looks good. Nothing's rattling in there, which is good. Take this one out. Uh, the projector housing for the LEDs looks like a high quality. It's not just a thin film. But I'll just go ahead and um, lay this out. And I'm not sure what this would be some sort of plastic but we'll look into that let's take them out of the box put the box off to the side and let me show you everything about this light bar and let's take a, a quick shot okay so let's see right here we have the controller the controller comes with uh, left and right indicate uh, track right advisory and center uh, advisory. Uh, these buttons go from uh, the next programmable uh, selection of as far as strobe light indication. See, you can see the light bar has uh, four units: uh, one, uh, two yellow, and two orange. I'm sorry, two white and two orange, and there's two two by sides. Here are the brackets. Now I did, um, I do want to advise on these brackets. You can grab them and slide your, you slide them on as such. Easy to uh, put on. Great. And then you would use these little bolts to actually put it into these two holes. They're tiny, so don't lose them, and they do come exactly to what you need. And these are the bolts for the, uh, let's say you want to drill it down onto the dashboard, you hold it down or on top of something, drill it up. It comes with the little hardware, same thing, but this one doesn't come with the suction cups. This one just directly, you use the these bolts uh, to actually put them in here, and then use these bolts to anchor it down. 
I will say um, as far as hardware this is nice it's not flimsy it's very very sturdy but I already found an issue with it where it's not adjustable up and down uh, all windows are do have a curve to them SUVs might not but let's say you're in a sedan or if you want to put in your front windshield it's not gonna be level it's actually gonna be crooked because if a window is not like this it's gonna be bowed out you want to make sure it's it's at a right angle it, as you can tell if it's a, if, if it's bowed out you need this to actually be able to ex, um, how would you say that uh, to have an extend extendable arm to go up and down and back to have these two light bars aligned correctly and as you can see that's that's literally it this is standalone it has a four I believe a four prong system just plug and play I'm sorry one two three it's sit five prong it's a five prong system to make sure it gets all these signals correctly so that's actually really nice water sealed I'm not sure why but it's water sealed you see you want it outside And let me go ahead and show you through the functions. Hey everyone, so this is the setup. I went ahead and um, put everything in. Uh, my main complaint is the wiring is not long enough. I think I would like at least two to three feet extra worth of wiring to properly put this where I want it. Um, let's say if I want to plug it in here, and I already have my charging cable, I went ahead and plug it in here. Let's go ahead and turn it on. And we're gonna go ahead and turn this on. Right now it is on 17. What you can tell it is it's properly working, it's going in a certain direction, right? So let's say I go ahead and choose the same direction. Uh, they don't go the same way. So that's a little bit off. Um, let's see if I go the other way. Same thing. Um, let's say it's center. And I'll go to the center. I've um, what I've noticed is that even though that one is showing 16 turning, it's not the same as these ones. It's a little bit off. I'm not sure what's going on. But I'll go ahead and go through all the. So that's one. Just oh, on. No, I bet tonight is coming soon. Uh, that is two. With YouTube Music Premium, there are no. Oh, dope, dope, dope. That is three. As you can tell, they're working properly with uh, these uh, program codes. Number four. Number five. Number six. Seven. Eight. Nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, number 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, Show you another reason why it's, uh, I think the brackets need a little bit of reworking, but overall, I think the line should be longer. This one I ordered before the unboxing one, and it's not showing wires, which is good. Um, I ordered that as a replacement, but now that I see these wires, I might just return that one. 
I'm just trying to figure out what's going on with the module and the lights. And I'll show you right now in regards to that. Alright, so I went ahead and uh, plugged in the uh, new ones, the replacement ones, the one that has the, um, I would say the, the pulled wire through, and so you have, you have one that has both sticking out, right? So you would expect that to be the outside one. So let's go ahead and see what happens, uh, side by side. Obviously, this one wouldn't go to center, right? Because why would you want it to go to center? You want to go and tuck over into the uh, trim. Let's go ahead and turn it on. Turn it on. Uh, now it's this one. Okay, so we have number 16, which is working properly. Right? As you can see, working properly. Head over this way now. Same thing as the other one does so um, either way I think there might have been some programming issues I'm not sure uh, oh they are great quality but it's not working it's doing the same thing as the other one the one that I have so I might just return these because either way they're, they're doing the same thing so I'm not too sure I'm gonna contact the seller and maybe see if they have any other um, reprogramming procedures that they do for these but overall, as far as you can see, so I mean, you have this, right? So let's say, let's say this one is supposed to go in the center, right? It'd be a cumbersome to have one wire going through the center and having it pull it. I actually put this one off to my driver's side, it's easier because it's longer and it's easier for me to get it all the way up here. If not, it takes forever. Uh, it's just not long enough. Um, this wire is long because it's supposed to go as such, but it's not. So if I, let's say I put this over here, I don't understand it. So let's say we do it as normal people would. They put the two cables off to the side, one cable just going across, because that's why it's long enough, right? Now let's go left, same thing. Um, I think some programming issues overall. But when you put it in these other programmed ones, it works just fine. Um, but yeah, I'm just trying to figure that one out. I'll go ahead and uh, show you see some actual uh, shots out in the street so you can see how they look. looking at the sun with maybe 30 percent tint 70 percent visibility would be tint this is with the sun actually hitting them so as you can tell still good so what can I say about this product great product overall uh, they might need a few uh, things that they might need to look into uh, one would be quality control. This one had a uh, wire kind of doubling out. You can maybe push it in, but at the same time, you don't know if it's going to be damaged in there. Uh, second thing, um, brackets. Uh, I believe these might be able to maybe extend them just a little bit. Not too much because, like I said, you, you actually need some space. And this one seems like it's literally just... A few inches maybe like an inch or two even half an inch would help with these brackets to move them up um, same thing with this ones 
you could just adjust them so it's with any curved glass you're gonna be as such as this because it's not straight unless you're in an SUV but either way a curved glass for an sedan you're gonna have you're gonna need extendable brackets uh, suction cups uh, they seem pretty good overall I've had the other one in my car for about two or three days already and they haven't fallen off it's been extremely hot here in Southern California uh, they haven't gotten off but I, I would hope they maybe get something a little bit more high quality but still works does what it needs to do um, but yeah that's my my review of the Bo U 2-in-1 track advisory orange and white traffic lights let me know if you want me to uh, look into any, any Amazon products and hopefully you guys enjoy the video take care here's some shots